welcome to Kate's Egg. Today I am rolling a den, so that's super exciting. This is our only chickpea field we're planting, and I maybe have probably another full day of rolling and then we'll be completed. So that's exciting, and we're moving on to barley next. We might plant a little bit of spring wheat, we're not sure yet, so I'm just about to get ready. The tractor's been started for a while because with diesels you have to make sure to let them warm up. So I just put my steering wheel down. And I'm going to bring my RPMs up in the tractor. I'm in park right now, so I'm gonna make sure I'm in a slow speed. And then I'm going to start going again. So I'm taking off. I don't need a clutch to get started, so that's super nice. I think my first pass is back here. So I basically can just tell by all the dirt kind of dug up from being seeded. And what a roller does is it pushes the rocks into the ground. So when we go to harvest it, or when we have custom cutters harvest the crop, it doesn't break off, the rocks don't break off the machinery and the cutter bar of the combine because pulse crops or chickpeas, for example, have to be cut very low to the ground because they don't grow very tall. This kind of maybe looks like it's been rolled. I'm just going to take a look over here. I can't really tell. So I'm going to drive partially in the field to see. Kind of does look like it's been rolled. Oh no, actually, no, I don't think this has been rolled. So, oh, I see where my line is. So I'm just going to speed up and drive over here. Although I'm going across furrows right now, so it's super bumpy. And I'm just going to slow down a little bit because whenever the tractor is bumpy and it's not very pleasant in the cab, you're also hurting your tractor. So that's a good thing to take note of. So I'll go down here. It looks like all of this end pass has been rolled. My Uncle Chris very kindly gave me the evening off and rolled some of the field so that I would have less to do today and I would be able to get some rest. So. I now have a much straighter line to roll off of, which is very nice, I might add. I'm going to increase my speed to 10 miles an hour because there doesn't seem to be too many rocks right here. And I'm just going to make sure everything's good with the roller. Move my chair around here for a second. I'm keeping my tractor on this edge line so that I'm double rolling the field. So the right side of the loader is on the part that I've already rolled and that brings me to about the middle of my roller. I just spoke to Darcy this morning and he got out of his tractor to tell me we've only seeded until we ran out of chickpeas here. So I don't obviously have to roll the part that hasn't been seeded and we're going to plant barley in the rest. So I think I can kind of tell where he stopped but when it gets closer, I'll make sure. Rolling is definitely a bumpy job on the farm but I really like operating this tractor and it seems to be coming back to me because I actually out of my whole family have had the first experience driving a tractor like this so that was super nice because of all the bailing I did last year although that was a year ago so I'm still a little bit rusty it's a super quiet tractor as well so I really enjoyed that and it's just super fun. I don't think there's any tractor you can drive on the farm without having a good time. I also, I have a speedometer right here and then I also have my speed here as I drive a little too far over into the rolled part. Oh my goodness, a hawk. Oh my gosh, two hawks. Wow, that is so cool. I'll have to get my camera out next time around. They were right by me in the field. That is awesome. It's a very nice day today, but I think it's supposed to be, get a little bit cooler later on this week. Montana weather is crazy. It can change super fast. I don't see any more hawks yet in the field, so maybe those are the only two. It looks like my line of what has been rolled and what hasn't been rolled changes a little bit here. So I've had to drive in slightly. Everything looks good on the tractor so far. I'm glad there's no problems. I hope we get some rain soon. We definitely need it. Oh, there looks like there's a case tractor seating over there and maybe a John Deere tractor with a different type of implement. So t maybe, oh wow, two, that's pretty cool. It's always fun to see the different people working in the fields across from you. And I'm coming up to the end here. So I'm about to have to make my corner. I'm just kind of looking to see if Uncle Chris rolled the last pass in the field that Darcy did going 
all the way around the field rather than back and forth. And it looks like he did roll all of that. So I'm just going to go forward and turn around here. It's like Mr. Toad's wild ride once I get into this next field to make my turn. So I try to be pretty careful and really slow down to like two miles an hour. Well, actually I'm going 3.2, but still very slow. Whereas on the other side, I can kind of do a turn at eight miles an hour because I'm capable of lining the tractor up with that little amount of time. It's just very bumpy if you go that, that, that fast on this part of the field. So now I'm lining back up to my last pass and I'll start the next one for the day, which is exciting. A hawk just flew away again. I'm not sure where he went, but oh my goodness, that is so cool. There's the hawk right there. Oh my goodness. I think it's super hard for you to see him, but he just flew out again. This field quits where the end of that green stuff is. Okay. So there's not much of this field in there, but he's seeding this way. And there's a coolie over here that isn't planted with nothing. But Chris could have went and seeded that whole bottom, the north end of that down there. Okay. As far as the coolie goes. And and it runs along and there's a fence line about over there. I can see the post. See that big set of tracks wandering around over there? Yeah. The crooked one? Yeah. If you look off to the right, there's a fence post. See it? It's right under that black hill. It's just a little stick type look. Yeah, there. I see it. Okay, that's a fence that runs all the way along. And and that thing goes down in a little coolie, turns the corner runs along but there's some coolies that come up a little one so you got to be looking ahead do you have to cut out the coolies or do you go through them no they're not they're grass coolies okay oh just roll where the tractor went okay so if the if the coolie comes into that you got to be looking ahead so you don't get this thing tied in a knot where you hook the frame on that right right so you'll find that fence line and that's the the north end of this field actually and then the additional stuff will be over there it'll be that way west but it's always easier to turn things like this around if you got two laps around it you know what i mean right and don't don't get turned too sharp so you've got to know what's coming up 100 percent. so you know pay attention okay thank you there was not controlled. It didn't end up burning down any buildings, which is good, but it seems to be going again today. So I hope everything is all right. I'm not sure what's going on. I just noticed it again. I am still driving the tractor. Dad just gave me a little overview of what's probably happening on this end of the field. Um, I didn't notice that that part was seated. I just came back from there, but as I get closer, I should. I did notice the fence post, so I'll have to be extremely careful around those. This is much bumpier in here because it's a different type of soil. It seems to be maybe more of a clay soil rather than a clay loam. And there's also a lot more rocks in here. So I'm driving a little bit slower because it's a lot easier on the machinery. Although you do have to keep momentum up for the roller to actually push the rocks into the ground. It's almost like a little bit of a water hole in the field which all has to do with the composition of the soil and what it's deficient in. I'm not driving in straight lines again. Let's see. So I only have about this much left and I've done well over half the field. There are some coolies coming up, so I'll definitely have to slow down for those. I'm at about a half a tank of fuel, which is really, oh my gosh, a hawk. Oh no, it's not a hawk, it's an owl. Oh my goodness. No way, it's an owl. I kept thinking they were hawks. Aw, and it looked like a baby too. That, I wonder if you saw that on the camera. That was the cutest thing ever, aw. I hope I see him again my next pass. That was incredible, aw. I noticed the round head and I thought, goodness, that's an owl, not a hawk. So now I'm almost to the other end and I'll be making my turn again. You can also hear all the rocks being pressed into the soil. I have had a really giant rock. It would be interesting, I know some tractors do, but to be able to pinpoint on the map where the really massive rocks are, 
and then come back with this same tractor and pick them out of the field. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe to learn a little bit more about where your food comes from. You can also follow Kate's Egg on Instagram, K-A-T-E-S underscore A-G, and on TikTok, Facebook, and Pinterest. And you can visit the Kate's Egg website, www.katesegg.com, and purchase a Kate's Egg tote bag. Thank you again for watching. Bye!